Believe it or not, I have bought the product that we are about to unbox and review three times in the past month. It's because I think that this thing that we are about to talk about might be the best gift of 2020 and quite possibly of all time. Hi guys, my name's Tom and welcome to the channel. Here we like to talk about all things tech, consumer tech, things I use on a daily basis. Today we're gonna be talking about the Skylight picture frame. Now digital picture frames have been super popular over the course of the past five to 10 years, but what makes this one very different is you can send the photos from your phone or computer directly via Wi-Fi to this picture frame. Well, we're all trying to get our bearings in this very, very odd time, little gifts of tech like this where I'm able to keep in touch with my parents, my wife's parents, our friends, our family, just by sending them pictures, it kind of normalizes a somewhat strange situation. So let's open this guy up and I'll show you what's inside and how to set it up. The one thing about this digital picture frame that I like as a younger person who kind of understands tech is you can send this directly to yourself, set the entire thing up for your friend or family member, and then ship it out to them so they're not dealing with SD cards and setting up an email address and things like that. So it's, it's nice for people that don't understand this side of tech, but here we are. So the first thing we see is paperwork that is actually important. And what it tells us is we have to go to rskylight.com slash activate, uh, and there it'll give us a six pin to put on the frame. We also have a quick start guide, information on Skylight Plus, which we'll talk about in a little bit. We'll get back to this activation very, very soon. But first we're gonna set up the frame. Not a lot of bells and whistles. We have a 10 inch picture frame. We have a power adapter. We also have a USB to power plug, as well as this little white kickstand right here. As the frame boots up, I'll just show you a little bit of what this has to offer. On the side of the frame, you can see that this is the power plug. There's also a micro USB, a regular USB, and an eighth inch audio jack. Back of the frame has a power button, a navigation station, and a menu button. It also gives you a place to hang the frame on a wall. And this hole down here is actually for our foot. All we would do is twist that in and then you're able to prop your frame up on a shelf or otherwise. But we're not gonna use that right now. And here we are. So the first thing we're gonna see is our Wi-Fi and we're gonna go directly to my Wi-Fi, which is pretty fly for a Wi-Fi. Not original, I know. All right, so right here we have to get our activation code. So we're gonna go over to the computer and I'll walk you guys through that process. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to rskylight.com slash activate. And right on the front page, it asks you what product you have. We have the Skylight Frame. So the Skylight Frame email is the email that we're gonna create that people are going to email their photos to this frame once it is set up in their house. So this is the setup part. Uh, that I was just talking about. So what I've done right here is created an email for the person that is getting this frame So it's obviously tied to their name And here we go. We just got on the screen an activation code and all we have to do is type it in And here it goes it says that it's linked to the email that we just created on my computer So what we just did there was set our picture frame settings to private that way, I have to physically approve all the people that would get that email to be able to send photos to this device. So I can invite myself. I then show up on an, uh, an approval list. The people you invite would then get an email saying that they're invited to share pictures on this digital picture frame registered to that person. And uh, there it provides you with the email that's registered and you can just start sending photos to it. So let's send one and we can watch it come through the internet and show up on the frame itself. All I'm gonna do is drag and drop a bunch of pictures of my family and this should take less than a minute and now we just wait. As that's sending from my computer through the internet back into this picture frame, I will say that this picture frame uh, is available on the skylightframe.com website for $159. Um, there's also a payment plan and that's when we'll talk about uh, the Skylight Plus. With Skylight Plus, you're able to uh, include captions and videos the same way that you would be sending these photos that I just showed you directly to the frame. Uh, you could do it with video and audio and it's a nice feature, but it will cost you another $39 a year. 
With that $39, it also gives you access to a mobile app as well as a couple other features. I'll make sure to throw a link in the description below for you guys to check out everything that Skylight has to offer. Um, so here we go, the pictures just came to the frame and as they show up, it'll say tap to see new photos and uh, they will cycle through my mother-in-law. She's the one that's actually getting this one. I also bought one for my own mother. Um, they're gonna love this because it's it's one of those things that you can send them and it's an effortless gift to really kind of share in um, the weird time that we're currently all in, in social distancing. But yeah, uh, when you tap to see new photos, it'll show you all these. You can also swipe and go back through your photos. So the touchscreen isn't bad on, on this at all. Um, and then you can also heart photos as the recipient. And uh, you can mark that as you've seen them. Uh, but every time that you like a photo, uh, the person that sent you that photo will get notified that you saw and liked that photo. So just a quick little aside, if you forget to edit your photos or you're the recipient of, of one of these frames and you want to edit a photo, uh, you'll always have the option to rotate the photo directly on the screen in the top right corner. And once you do that, obviously you can go back. You can also delete a photo. And one of the nice things about this is, like I mentioned, if you do send vertical pictures and you want to resize them to, to better fit, here, we'll use this one for an example, to better fit the frame, uh, you can go ahead and resize them right there. So at the point where they do go back and forth, the photo will show up as a full screen image. So uh, yeah, just a little aside. So hopefully this video helps show how easy and effortless it is to set up the Skylight Digital Picture Frame. Like I mentioned before, links are always in the description down below. If you haven't already and you like videos like this and reviews and overviews on consumer tech, be sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And uh, while you're at it, watch another one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.